Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sailing the Open Sea with Pickle Rick. This week we're going to cover some of the bigger projects that launched over the past few days, such as Valhalla, Cellmates, and the Invisible Friends 3D collection. I know that in the past day or so we've been seeing a little bit of uh, slowdown in, in volume, and of course this could be attributed to the fact that you know Thanksgiving holiday. Black Friday as well, people liquidating so that they can buy gifts for family and friends. Uh, of course, for those of you who did celebrate Thanksgiving, hope that it was a day well spent away from the computer, you know, get a nice little mental reset. And hopefully after the Thanksgiving break, we can uh, get back to it and see some uptick in, in market volume as well. Uh, we will go ahead and start it off with Valhalla. Of course, this did sell out uh, recently, kind of started this meta shift to the application style and that this application process has seen a lot of criticism recently because of how Valhalla has dipped since Mint. Um, if you were able to Mint and flip immediately, there was great profits to be made, a 0.5 Mint, and there were people selling for uh, over 1.2 ETH to start off. We saw lots of dips and retraces here. So um, big, big hype projects like this, it's important to be watching, you know, how the, what the listings per minute are looking like, sales per minute, um, looking at, you know, how the listing is, listings are trending. If you're starting to see a plateau, um, you know, areas like this is where you'll see like where you where you would have seen a plateau in the listings and potentially a, a reversal down. And those could have been good, you know, buy opportunities to get like a, you know, maybe 0.2 ETH profit flip. <clears throat> but we kind of saw these a lot throughout the day. Uh, dips, retraces, dips, retraces um, went, you know, started out 1.3 went down to like 0.8 and then I think retraced to about 1.1. Another dip to, uh, we were seeing the dips get lower each time and the retrace is not getting as high each time. So um, projects like these are, it's important to just continue to, uh, you don't wanna just FOMO in, you wanna be making sure that the analytics say that this is a good buy opportunity, good sale opportunity. Um, right now sales have slowed down, we're seeing uh, we're seeing it hold this, you know, 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.6 floor pseudo swap, of course, a little bit lower, um, but, you know, still above mint price. So right now, the best thing that you could be doing is, you know, following along the founders, Twitter and the discord for any, uh, you know, bigger announcements. We did see a lot of people disappointed with founder asking what's some things that you know the community would like to see um obviously they have their roadmap but it seems like uh something that it, they're trying to find some other things to raise their floor as well and that kind of should be something that's uh that's already being executed on and not necessarily like um you know being asked of the community but uh another Big announcement here regarding one of the partnered esports teams going to be coming in to do a Discord AMA. So that could um, result in another floor pump for Valhalla. Uh, of course, you know, we don't have an exact date yet. So that's something to keep in mind. They just said within the next two weeks. So uh, either the announcement of the AMA date could cause a little bit of a pump or, you know, the AMA itself. So important to uh, keep an eye on that. One of the bigger things to note is that some of the projects uh, that are really seeing pumps right now and having good steady volume and profits are not really doing this application meta, you know, cellmates, they did have like a strict whitelist process, but it wasn't via this like application style. So, uh, and this is more so, you know, people love the art, the marketing, it's a backed, you know, obviously it's by a, a well-known, you know, artist. So, seeing steady sales since it minted out 
and it didn't dip after reveal it kind of just kept uh kept seeing crazy volume I, it looks like it touched uh, around 0.9 ethereum has pulled back a little bit to 0.8 blue chip holders whales um are you know really got in in on cellmates uh could you know it's possible that a lot of the Valhalla profits also went into here as Valhalla saw their dips. Cellmates kind of just continued to rise and, and go above Valhalla. So another project to just keep your eye on, see what other announcements that they might be doing, um, any collaborations and, you know, maybe potential partnerships and stuff like that. They're continuing to, you know, stay active on their socials and make announcements. It looks like Friday, December 2nd, um, we might have another thing coming. So that could lead to another pump. Uh, so definitely keep your eye on, on this cellmates project, just because, you know, people really vibe with the art. It's not even fully revealed yet. You just have like a trait on, you know, the type of crime that it is. So, um, there's still a lot of room for, you know, crazy volume to be seen on this cellmates project. And it's still under an ETH. Uh, people are, you know, pretty inactive right now due to the, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Thanksgiving holiday. They're kind of spending time with family and friends. So, could see a lot of volume in the next week or two uh, once people get back to it. Another huge announcement that we saw recently was for Chimpers. They, you know, they have a, a partnership going with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Paramount. Um, this is a pretty established project, established community, uh, you know, team of builders. They've been doing a lot in the space and Ever since the announcement, when when all the market took a dip in the past couple of weeks, I think Chimpers actually got under an ETH. We we've seen sales above like two, three, four Ethereum for for Chimpers. Um, you know, five thousand five hundred fifty five supply. This has been one people could were were getting into. They were buying these dips, and when uh, the announcement came out, we just saw crazy sweeps. Uh, lots of volume. Obviously, there were people who were taking profit. I think Chimpers actually hit like 1.7, 1.6 after the announcement um, before seeing some retraces. But, you know, as you can see here, there were people doing uh, doing some sweeps, lots of people tweeting about the announcement, uh, lots of, you know, bullish signals for this. This is definitely something to, you know, maybe try to put some weath offers out. Pretty big news. Uh, the involvement of Paramount as well, like we could be seeing like a TV show. Um, so they they do have an AMA coming up on Sunday, November 27th. So this is definitely, you want to set your reminder for this because uh, there could be some alpha dropped during this space and it could cause, you know, more, uh, more pumps. So um, definitely start putting out some weath offers, look for some more dip buy opportunities because, uh, we could see, you know, maybe a pushback up to 1.7, even to Ethereum if if the news is, you know, is really bullish. Of course, we did talk about the Tomi by Junji Ito project last week. Uh, they did reveal, um, been holding around this 0 0.07, 0 0.08 range, and the we didn't really see a post-reveal dip. Um, it's kind of just been holding uh, between, you know, around 0 0.08, 0 0.1. And uh, lots of people just kind of raving about the art on Twitter. Another bullish sign here. Uh, look for more announcements. It's, you know, if they could get something uh, announced by Junji Ito themselves, um, I think that that would really cause a, a pump in the in the floor. And yeah, I mean, if if you vibe with the art, obviously one of the bigger named artists in um, in Asia. So uh, and we we kind of see these projects hold you know, communities get very involved. So definitely continue to monitor. And then of course we had the Invisible Friends 3D drop. Um, this still has not sold out yet, but it's been seeing steady volume over the past few days and holding up 0.93 floor. Um, I think it, I saw it earlier. Uh, it was like around 0.6. You know, with the Valhalla Mint, uh, people were probably focusing on that. And then they kind of, it seems like the, the focus kind of shifted over to Cellmates and uh, Invisible, the 3D Invisible Friends as, you know, this has slowly gone up to, uh, looks like it actually hit 1.2 for a little bit. Cellmates, you know, steady volume while Valhalla volume has kind of slowed down. So look for this to see a little bit more dip as, you know, the supply gets larger. Uh, but after this mints out, 
um, I assume that you know the the flippers will exit and the you know main invisible friends community will probably uh, diamond hand this so you know, obviously invisible friends is a big name in the space random character collective is a very well respected brand very connected this is definitely one you want to continue to track just because you know, lots of uh, blue chip holders in this and uh, i don't really see this taking too you know dipping too hard i, th I think this will see a, a post sellout dip retrace and you know potentially get to these post you know above one ethereum uh, levels of course the invisible friends main collection did see a small dip because you know people took advantage of the of the i don't know if they got like a free claim but when when these collections have a second collection come out there's always a a dip on the on the first so you know potentially if you when when the market was dipping uh, a couple weeks ago after the FTX um, announcements, maybe you got an invisible friend for for a good deal and uh, you were able to flip leading up to uh, the second collection drop. So that's going to be it for uh, this week. We'll definitely check back in on the 3D Invisible Friends collection next week. Um, not sure when they are revealing, so definitely something to keep an eye on. Obviously, we're going to check back in on Chimpers as well to see how the AMA went and what impact it had on the, uh, you know, on the volume. And the same with Cellmates. Uh, we're going to continue to monitor that for the next couple of weeks. And if there's any other projects that you guys think we should be taking a look at in the next couple of weeks, please feel free to comment them below or uh, be on the lookout for our Twitter poll next week for what projects we might be featuring on the YouTube video. And uh, you know, feel free to comment on the tweet as well.